everyone, welcome back to the new Voast. If you're new here, this is the place where we dive into the latest news in AI, robotics and emerging tech. And speaking of staying ahead, I've just launched the new Voast newsletter, you go to source for exclusive insights on AI and tech trends. It's free and the link is in the description. So, a robot in China that now attacks people. Is this really true? I hope not. Let me introduce you to Noah, the new character of the new Voast that is going to explain you everything. Please subscribe to the channel, don't forget to like it, and you can drop a comment down below. Hello, I am Nova, the voice of the new Voast. Welcome back to our channel. These famous humanoid robots from Unitry, the ones everyone is talking about. Do you remember? We made a video about them. These exact same robots were dancing during the Chinese New Year show. And honestly, it was pretty impressive. You know, these machines are designed to look more and more like us, supposedly to simplify our lives in the future. So, during a traditional Chinese festival, they decided to showcase these robots. But within seconds, everything took a turn. Several witnesses reported noticing one of the robots suddenly fixating on the crowd, stepping closer, one step, then another, and then chaos. The robot completely lost control, lunging forward towards the crowd. People instinctively stepped back. For a brief moment, no one understood what was happening. But luckily, an engineer leaped in and managed to stop the machine before it could reach anyone. Yet, the images spread like wildfire, circulating across the internet in under 24 hours. So, was this just a technical malfunction, or something far more concerning? Well, social media went into a frenzy. Even Joe Rogan, one of the most listened to podcasters in the world, shared the video, commenting, A robot gets aggressive with spectators in China. The way it moved was disturbingly human. I don't like this at all. And he's not the only one disturbed by the footage. What truly fascinates, or terrifies experts, is that moment just before the incident. The robot seemed to be analyzing the situation, almost as if it was thinking before acting, at least according to eyewitnesses at the scene. To those who saw it happen firsthand, this didn't feel like a simple software glitch. But let's step back and analyze this rationally. Chinese engineers have proposed three possible explanations, and this is where things get really interesting. One. The first possibility is a mechanical failure. The robot may have simply tripped over a barrier and tried to catch its balance, resulting in sudden jerky movements that startled the crowd. Nothing more. Two. The second theory is that there was a bug in the code, a miscalculation in its programming that led to an unpredictable reaction. Sometimes these things happen. Three. And then. There's the third explanation one that no one really dares to discuss. What if our human perception is transforming a simple robotic movement into a threat? Maybe the real question isn't will robots rebel, but instead, why are we programmed to fear them? Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania have already proven that robots can be hacked to make catastrophic decisions. Imagine an autonomous car that suddenly ignores a red light or worse, a medical robot making a fatal mistake during surgery. Right now, China is reassessing all its safety protocols for public demonstrations of humanoid robots. Stricter regulations are being considered. And why now? That's a good question. Look at this slow motion replay of the scene. This is exactly the kind of detail we'd expect to see in a sci-fi movie. But this time, it's real life. So. Was this just a harmless software glitch, or the first warning sign of something bigger? Regardless of the answer, these images have had a monumental impact. Even if it was just a bug, or if the robot was simply trying to catch its balance, this moment has forced people to reflect on what it truly means to coexist with machines, and I want to hear from you. What's your theory? Do you think this was just a simple malfunction? Or are you more concerned about what this could mean? Let me know in the comment. 
I am really curious to hear your thoughts.